Ishaq ibn Ibrahim. So he is also from the offspring of Ishaq and Yaqub and Yusuf alayhim salawatu wa taslimat. And he is the one who has been mentioned in Surah Al-Kahf by the title of a Fatah. And Fatah is a common word in the Arabic language that's for a young man and that's also for a servant. So he was actually a young man and he was serving Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam in Surah Al-Kahf. The story of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam Fawajada Abdam min Ibadina about Abd min Ibadina Our brother he mentioned Khazir alayhi salatu wasalam Aqwal are so many but anyhow the famous one is that his name was Khazir but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala titled him as Abdam min Ibadina that he is one of our slaves and one of our Ibad so Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and he was going to Khazir alayhi salatu wasalam so this young man Yusha ibn Nun alayhi salatu wasalam he was with him and there they met uh, with uh, Khazir alayhi salatu wasalam and the story in detail is mentioned there in Surah Al-Kahf. In the time of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, when he ordered Bani Israel, Ya Qawm Ithkulu Al-Ard Al-Muqaddasa Allati Katawallahu Lakum, that people just stand up from Egypt. Egypt is not our original land. We have to go back to the holy land to Palestine. But these people said, Inna fiha qawman jabbareen wa illa nandatu laha abadam madamu fiha fa in yakhruju minha fa inna dakhilun. That we cannot go there because there are so many tribes and they are good fighters like Fainaqis and Philistines and Aramis and Medianis and so many tribes. And if we will go there, they will bite us with their teeth. So in the time of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, they didn't come and they refused the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah punished them. That فَإِنَّا مُحَرَّمَةٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَا يَتِهُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ Just take them to, to that uh, Sahara'i tea, that they will be there. So for 40 years they were there in the Sahara and in the desert. So the old people, they died and a new generation, they came forward, a new generation, they got developed in Sahara. And as you know, the Sahrai people, they have freedom in their nature and they can go to their utmost. So then at that time, Yusha ibn Nun was appointed as a prophet after Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. So he told them that let's go to our own homeland to take it back and to recapture. So these people, they say, Allahu Akbar, let's go. So they came here. Yusha ibn Nun alayhi salatu wasalam, he came to an area or city which is called, maybe that is a town, Jericho. How big, I don't know. So our brother said that that is 20 kilometers from here. But that is some, some time of occupation. And there, Yusha ibn Nun alayhi salatu wasalam, he was proceeding there to Baitul Maqdis and Jerusalem to conquer that as well. For six months, he was besieging that area, but unable to conquer it. And then once, one day, Yusha ibn Nun, he said to Bani Israel, just stand up and in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, go ahead to capture our area. And he said, Allahu Akbar. So the people stood up. But... That fight was on Friday, and as you know that on Saturday, on Friday after sunset, the Jews, they are not doing anything, even they are not cooking their food even. Yes, so uh, that was Friday, and now it was very close for sun to set down. So Yusha ibn Nun, alayhi salatu wasalam, he looked at the heaven and he said, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am your slave. I am your creature. I have been ordered by you to do whatever I can do for your deen. And the sun is in your control. So please, if you can delay it, so it may not set down. We want today to conquer the area. And then they fought wholeheartedly and they conquered the area. So here even they couldn't establish their proper government. But the people who were ruling the area, Yusha ibn Nun alayhi salatu wasalam, through an agreement, he got a power and authority from them. And they gave him the authority to appoint his own elders to take care of the affairs of Bani Israel and also to appoint their own kuzat and their own judges to decree in accordance with Torah of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. So Yusha ibn Nun alayhi salatu wasalam, he appointed 12 people as their elders and a few ulama as the, and the final decision was in the hands of Yusha ibn Nun alayhi salatu wasalam. So that was the area when Bani Israel came back from Egypt. Jazakumullah wa barakallahu feek ya akhul.